The vehicle we have behind me is the M8 vehicle. It was a vehicle that we developed in the early 90s. Uh, and uh, we developed six prototypes. Uh, they're all air deployable. You can do an airdrop with them. Uh, the program went through all of its government testing and uh, was ready to move into production when for funding reasons it was stopped and other priorities took precedence. The mission for this vehicle is an airdrop. The main thing you want to be able to do is for an expeditionary force you want to be able to drop behind the enemy lines and take a position uh, so that you can take out the enemy and and that's what this thing is intended to do. It's a 105 cannon with a, a 12 round per minute capability and a lot of lethality uh, and the fact that you can put it behind enemy lines uh, allows you an ability to disrupt and allow your main forces then to come in and do the cleanup work. So again, that was the intent of this prototype. This vehicle is transportable by a C-130, uh, which gives it about 100 inches or so of height. So that's a pretty tight constraint. Then from a, a transportability standpoint, it needs to be about 18 tons to be C-130 capable. And what you see here is actually two different versions of it. On the left-hand side is the level one configuration, which is what you airdrop. On the right-hand side is you kit it up to a level three uh, level, which allows you a lot more survivability. There's a level two in between as well that gives you a balance. Uh, all of those, once you drop this thing, you have, it takes about 15 minutes to cut all the tethers and you're off and running. If you want to put additional armor on, it takes another couple hours and you're now in a different survival. It really depends on the survivability environment you're in as to what the configuration needs to be. This version here is, is essentially the transport. You'll have the parachutes, the rigging, and everything else. This is what gets pushed out the rear of the vehicle. The parachutes deploy. It comes, in, comes down, hits fairly fairly hard on the ground, and that's one of the things we spent a lot of time designing the suspension system to make sure that shock was manageable and you didn't have equipment inside start breaking. We dropped this thing out of an airplane two times, successfully fired it afterwards. Uh, out of those six prototypes, we fired thousands and thousands of rounds, uh, very successful results. And now with the requirement re-emerging, we think that this is a good launch point for the conversation with the customer to say what capabilities that we offered make sense moving forward, what are things that we might want to alter. So that's the reason for bringing it to this show is to have that conversation with our customer.